Hello and welcome to another workout. My name is Dr. Emily. Today we're doing a rock bottom workout. So we have 15 minutes and what we're gonna do is do a awesome workout to get that backside burning. All you need for this workout is your body weight. If you have some weights at home, you can grab that and bump up that intensity. I'm gonna be barefoot. If you wanna wear shoes, you can wear those shoes. If you have something or some way that you could warm up, I always warm up every workout for at least five minutes. Let's get started. So what we're gonna do is start in a nice long lunge position. You want that right leg stepping forward, the left leg is back. Keep the chest up, keep that stomach in. We're gonna lunge, here we go. Lunge down, press up. Lunge, again, so every time that you press up, I want your abs to fire and your glutes. Exhale as you bring it up. Press up and down. You have four more, then we're going to hold it down. Two more, last time hold. Hold down, now what I want you to do is step your feet up, or you can simply balance if you like. Foot down or up, here we go. Lunge back, step up. Lunge, step up. Again, every time I'm bringing it up, guess what? I'm sucking it. Back and lift. I have five more. Five, four, three, two more. Pull in, last time lift and hold. Hold it up. I want you to bend that right knee just a little bit. So if your foot is down, try and bring it up. Try and try and engage that balance. Stomach is in. Five more seconds, sit a little lower if you can. Yes, I know you're feeling those glutes. Rock bottom workout, here we go. Four, three, two, press release. Good, shake it out. Same thing on the other side. So now your left leg steps forward, right leg is back, chest is always up, abs are always tight. Here we go. Lunge and press. Lunge, press. It doesn't have to be fast. It's actually a little bit of a warm up. We're stretching that right hip. You have four more. Three, two, last time we hold, down and hold. Again, we're stepping up. Step up, balance if you want. We're lunging back, here we go. Lunge and step or balance. Lunge and press. Lunge and press, good. So you may notice that I'm actually using my arms. So just like we walk, our arms move when we lunge. Two more. Balance if you want, last time up and hold. Hold, little squat, here we go. Bend that left knee, keep the stomach in, keep that chest up. Again, I know you're feeling those glutes. You have five more seconds. Four, three, two, release, shake it out. Good, nice and easy. Now we're going into a sumo, so a sumo squat. Our feet are turned out. You're gonna come down into a squat. Make sure your feet are not facing forward, they're facing out. Why I like the sumo? Because you actually get a little bit more glutes. Since it's rock bottom, we want to get those glutes. We're going from that sumo into a balance here or into a balance here. Try to keep that right knee bent back to your sumo. Again, lift and hold. Return back to your balance. Again, lift and hold. Back to the balance. I'm keeping my right knee bent and I'm keeping my stomach in. I have three more. Return back. Two more. Pull in. Return. Last time we're going to hold. Lift and hold. Yes, I know it's a single leg squat. You want that right knee bent. Stomach is in. Four, three, two. Return to your sumo. Press it out. Okay, now we have the other side. Same thing goes. Back into your sumo. Left knee stays bent. We're going here. We can bring it up to here. Back to our sumo. Lift and hold. Back control. I want you to turn your head as well. That actually makes it a little harder. But the harder your balance is, the more you work your glutes. And back. Three more. Lift. And return. Two more. And return. Last time we hold. Lift and hold. Yes, again, a single leg squat. Keep that stomach in. You have five more seconds. Four. Three. Two, back to your center, hold here. Press it out. Feet stay turned out, back down. Here we go. And press, go ahead. Squat and lift. Every time I bring it up, I'm actually squeezing my glutes. And squeeze. Down and press. Four more, yes. Three, two more. Last time we're gonna hold. So down and hold. I want you to now tease your heels up. Tease them up, drop them down. Again, lift them, lower them. Keep going, lift. When I bring my heels up, I'm actually not lifting my body. I'm staying low. Four more, lift, down, good. Three, two more, lift. Last time, guess what, hold, lift and hold. 
five, four, three, two, press out, release, go ahead. Shake it on out. All right, it is time to do a new lunge. So what we're gonna do is go to the side. Doing a side lunge, just like doing a lunge this way, Awesome for those rock bottoms. So what we're gonna do is slide out. My knee and my foot are facing forward, so be very careful with your alignment. This leg is gonna stay straight and that foot faces forward. Then I go back to here, or I can bring it up to here. So again, I'm sliding out, just like I'm doing a speed skater pose, and then bring it up. So we're gonna slide, bring it up, or balance. Slide, pull in, again. Excellent, so again, I'm connecting with my abdominals. I just pull them in. We have five, pull in, four, pull in, three more, good, two more. Last time I want you to hold, lift and hold, find the balance, bring your left leg out to the side. Yes, I know we're balancing on that right side, so keep the stomach in. Your left leg, I want you to lift it higher and then slowly float it down. Again, we're gonna lift it up, float it down. Now, if the balance is hard for you, you can hold onto a wall, you can hold onto a chair and you can do the exact same workout. Good, let's do three more. Up three and down. Up two, guess what? We're holding the last one, lift and hold. Stomach is in. You have five more seconds. If you can, lift that left leg higher for five, four, three, two, and release. Good job. Shake it out. Let's scoot a little over to the left so we got some room over here. Our right side, the same thing goes. So we're gonna go into a side lunge Again, that knee and that foot face forward. Why we have that is because it's more of my glutes. If I were to do this, I'm actually working my quad. So, hips go back, back to here, or balance if you want. So we're gonna slide out, balance or tap. Slide and lift. Good. Everything is about your chest. Everything is about your breathing. You have five. And lift. Good, so I'm gonna start doing a little balance if you wanna join me. And up, two more. And balance, last time hold, lift and hold. Guess where we're going? Right leg goes out, stomach goes in, chest is up. Lift that right leg higher, and then we're floating down. Again, this is the point, if you wanna hold on to a wall or a chair, feel free to do so. And down, keep going, lift. Yes, keep going, we have five more. I'm feeling the burn, I hope you are too. Three more. And lift, two more. Stomach in, the last time we're gonna hold just like last time. Don't lose your balance like me, lift and hold. Stomach is in. Excellent, so I'm actually feeling the burn on my left leg and my right leg, so we're getting a double booty burn. Keep holding, five seconds, four, three, two, and release, great job. Shake out those hips. I want you to find one last sumo here. Excellent, we're going back to these little heel lifts. Again, it could be like an act of recovery. Whew. So Dr. Emily can catch her breath. Four more, up four, good, chest up. Three, two more. One more up and hold, sit a little lower in your hips. Five seconds, four, three, two, press up, release. Whew. Shake out those hips. It is now time for the floor sequence. So grab that mat, we're down there. Okay, so we're down on the floor, we're going to do the floor sequence now. So. What we're gonna do is find a side plank, but I want everybody's knees bent. Still make sure that upper body is super strong. One knee goes straight, bottom leg is bent. I want you to pop those hips up so it's almost like you're doing a side plank. Top arm goes up, top leg goes up. Excellent. Then we're gonna just hold. What we're doing is we're actually working our glutes to hold those hips up and to keep that leg up. To make that intensity a little bit more, I want you to lift your bottom hips a little bit higher. Lift your top leg higher, flex the foot, now we're gonna move. We're gonna go down and lift, down and lift. Excellent, so as you do that, you'll notice that my right hips aren't moving. So what I'm doing is really kicking in the burn on my left side. You have five more, then guess what we're gonna hold? We have four, excellent, three, keep going, two, last time hold, hold it up, keep the neck long, I know you're feeling the burn because I am, hopefully you are. Five seconds, four, three, two, and release. Excellent. Ooh, push back, sit on those heels. Go ahead, so because we just worked both sides, we're gonna give those glutes a little break. And what we're gonna do is go forward into our superwoman. Our arms are gonna go in front of us. Our legs are going to turn out. 
Our neck is long, we're gonna lift our arms, lift our legs, and bring our head down. Good. So, the muscle that I'm working when I lift my legs is, guess what, it's my rock bottom. So lift those legs even higher if you can. Make sure those feet are turned out. I want you to squeeze those glutes harder. We have five more seconds, keep holding on. Keep squeezing harder if you can. Five seconds, four, three, two, and release. Good, push back, sit on those heels. Good, now we're going back to the other side. So we can do that side plank, leg exercise on the other side. So, shoulder directly over your elbow, top leg goes straight, bottom leg is bent, chest goes up, arm goes up, leg goes up, flex that foot, and then hold, excellent. So again, we're working both glutes. So if you feel your bottom glutes, that's completely normal. Lift those hips a little higher if you can to get a little extra burn. Here we go, top leg, we're moving. So we're going down and lift. Down and lift. Again, my left side is not moving. I'm moving just my right side. Exhale each time. We have five and lift. Four, keep going. Three, two more. Lift, last time lift and hold. Hold it up, stomach is in. Keep holding. Five more seconds, four, three, two, and release. Good job, let's push back. Sit on our heels. Oh, that one always gives me a burn. All right, so what we're gonna do is roll over so we can do a glute bridge. This is probably one of my favorite glute exercises. You can easily do it when you're watching TV, which is kind of another sneaky way to get a workout in. All right, so what we have is our right knee is gonna go to our chest, just our left leg is down. I want you to lift your hips up, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna work that outer glute. Hips are up nice and strong. Right leg is going to go straight up, or you could actually just keep the knee bent. It's your choice. Your hands are gonna be down by your side. If you feel your hamstring, push your heel into your ground and that will hopefully make your glutes fire. So your right leg is up or it's bent. I want you to drop that leg down, down, down towards the floor while squeezing your glutes and then bring it up. Again, drop the leg down, squeeze the glutes and lift. We have two more, slowly lower. Exhale, lift. Last time we're gonna hold. So down and hold, keep squeezing. You notice that I'm not moving my hips. I'm keeping them up off of the floor. You have five more seconds. Four, three, two, lift and release. Switch sides, bring the left knee to the chest. All right, now we'll work in the right glute. Same thing goes, so lift those hips. Left leg is either straight up or it's bent. Again, if you feel it in that right hamstring, just flex the foot here and it'll go into the glutes, okay? Press that heel down. Left leg is up. We're gonna lower it towards the ground, keep the stomach in, and then lift. Again, lower down or keep that knee bent, and lift. Two more, squeeze the right glute. Exhale, last time, guess what? We hold, down and hold. Stomach is in, keep those hips level. Five seconds, four, three, two, lift it up, and release. Good, bring the knees to the chest. Excellent. So I want to take a little stretch break. We're gonna bring our right ankle over our left knee and then bring to the knee to the chest. So you should feel it in your right glute. And relax the heart rate, if it's up. And then go, let's switch sides. So any time that you work out, make sure you're stretching just as important as the workout itself is the recovery we do after. All right, so we're gonna end with one last superwoman. This is what I call the buns of steel. All right, so what we're gonna do is superwoman, but keep our head down. I'm talking, so I'm not gonna have my head down, but I want you here. What we're doing is we're lifting our legs by squeezing our glutes. What we're gonna do, keep both legs up, but I want you to lift your right leg a little bit higher by squeezing just that right glute. So it's isolating, right? We're isolating the right glute. Make sure your head is down. Remember, mine's not because I'm talking. And then I want you to switch and lift your left leg. So you're really squeezing that left glute. Nice and strong, right side relaxed, left side super tight. Four, three, two, right side again. So now we're squeezing that right side as hard as we can. Isolate, squeeze, four, three, Two, switch to your left side last time. I know you can squeeze even harder if you can. This is your finale, so keep squeezing. Four, 
three, two, both legs go up, squeeze the glutes. Four, three, two, and release. Good job. Push back, sit on your heels. Excellent job, relax the lower back. We're gonna take those arms and walk them a little over to the right. Reach your left arm out as far as you can. Excellent. And then good walk to the center. Walk over to the left, reach that right arm as far out as you can. And then good, let's walk to the center. Slowly roll it up, we're gonna end with a hip flexor stretch because everybody has side hip flexors. So, right leg goes forward, shift your hip forward, bring your chin to your chest. Excellent. Whenever you work your legs, if you sit at work, this is probably the best stretch that you can do. Make sure you open up that hip, then let's release. Switch sides. Left leg, right leg, shift those hips forward, squeeze that backside, and bring your chin to your chest. Excellent. Keep holding. And then good release. Excellent job, you guys. I hope you had a great workout. I hope to see you again for another workout with Dr. Emily. Don't forget to follow Lusa Roberts on YouTube for more great workouts with Dr. Emily.